Hi everybody, it's Miss Kim. And Miss Laura. And we're back to read some more stories to you, sitting on this time Laura's front porch. I'm sorry, I'm watching Chewy walk down the porch under the front steps. I don't want him to run away. He does that. They're, he's, they're playing in the leaves, actually. It's a, another very nice fall day, and the colors are really nice. I don't know if you can see the tree behind us here. It's very pretty, bright red. Japanese maple. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Cool. I don't know. My husband told me that this morning. <laughs> It's almost the same shade as red as Laura's My lumberjack, flannel. yes, my lumberjack fleece. It's not flannel, it's fleece. Oh, is it fleece? It's fleece. Fleece is very staticky. I know, that's why I can only wear this one. It makes my hair stick up. My hair always sticking up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Y'all <laughs> know that, too. If you pay any attention to me at all. Um, anyway. <laughs> this is not a discussion about my hair tactics and hair no. care routines. Anyway. Um, okay, so I am reading dozens of dachshunds today. Hi, Newton. Sometimes people say dash hounds, but inside the book, there's a correct pronunciation, which is dachshund. So. Dachshund, I prefer to call it. Yes. That's why she wouldn't let me read the book out loud, because I kept saying <laughs> dachshund, and she yelled at me. Anyway, I'm going to read something that doesn't involve dogs or fall at all. It's what kind of car does a T-Rex drive? Ooh, that could be interesting. It really was, because, yeah, it was fun. I well, like we dinosaurs. They're cool. Me too. Yeah. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Dozens of Dachshunds, a counting, wolfing, wagging book by Stephanie Kalmanson. The Dachshunds are coming. They're on their way. Where will they go on this glorious day? One dashing Dachshund strolls down the street. He's all dressed up for the friends he'll meet. Two cheery dachshunds are out to have fun. Each looks delicious in a hot dog bun. Three dazzling dachshunds are feeling quite merry. They're a trio of treats with whipped cream and a cherry. Four royal dachshunds left their castles behind to see what exciting adventures they'll find. Five feathered dachshunds wish they could fly they'd go soaring and gliding across the sky. Six stripy dachshunds are covered in fuzz. They bark their hellos. Wait, shouldn't they buzz? Seven clever dachshunds are perfectly dressed for sharing the books they each like the best. Eight stylish dachshunds sashay through the city in all kinds of hats, they're so handsome and pretty. Nine sporty dachshunds perk up their ears to hear their fans' whistles and rousing cheers. Ten super dachshunds, fearless and brave, look high and look low for someone to save. Eleven wolfing dachshunds pretend to roar. It's fun to make noise like a dinosaur. Twelve racing dachshunds go galloping past. Giddy up, giddy up, they move so fast. Dozens of dachshunds begin to bark. They know what will happen inside the park. It's dachshund day, a day to have fun. Everyone's here and the party's begun. The crowd starts singing the dachshund song with 78 dachshunds barking along. We love dachshunds short and long. They are bold and they are strong. They are loyal, they are proud. They may be small, but their barks are loud. Now the dachshunds are leaving. They're back on their way. They had a great time on this glorious day. The end. What Kind of Car Does a T-Rex Drive? by Mark Lee and Brian Biggs. Biggs. Uncle Otto was having a summer sale, but so far no one had come to buy his cars. Where are all the customers, Ava asked. Maybe they're on vacation, Mickey said. Well, I'm not on vacation, Otto said. I will sell a car to anyone or anything that shows up. And that's when a stegosaurus lumbered onto the lot. I'm looking for a car, he said. 
What do you recommend? Uncle Otto had never sold a car to a dinosaur. He didn't know what to say. Don't worry, Uncle Otto, Ava said. He's a plant eater. Okay, Otto replied, but what kind of car does he want? What about an off-road vehicle, Missy, Mickey asked the dinosaur. You can drive deep into the forest to find mosses and ferns to snack on. Perfect, said the stegosaurus. He jumped into the car, honked the horn, and drove away. Uncle Otto, look! But just then, a pterodactyl glided down from the sky. Not now, Mickey, Otto said. I want to sell a car to a... A pterodactyl, Ava whispered. It's too hot to fly, the pterodactyl said. Maybe I need to buy a car. You like the wind and you're a fish eater, Mickey said. How about a convertible? You can drive to the beach and glide down the cliffs to the ocean. Good idea, the pterodactyl said. He hopped into his new car and headed for the shore. Uncle Otto, you better take a look at this. But just then, a triceratops ambled into view. Not now, Mickey, Uncle Otto said. I'm busy selling a car to a... Triceratops, Ava said. Great horns, Otto told the dinosaur. I bet you win a lot of arguments. I'm a gentle giant, the, tyrannosaurus, the Triceratops said. Do you have a vehicle that might suit me? What about a delivery van, Mickey suggested. The back is empty and you can get in through the rear doors. You're a deer, the Triceratops said. She climbed into the van and waved as she drove away. Um, Uncle Otto? What's the problem, Mickey? Suddenly there was a loud thump, 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 and a Tyrannosaurus Rex appeared. The Stegosaurus and the Pterodactyl and the Triceratops bought cars, the T-Rex said. I want to buy a car, too. Certainly. How about this nice micro car, Uncle Otto suggested. You can park it anywhere. I could never fit inside that, the T-Rex bellowed. Then he squashed the microcar with his powerful hind legs. I hear you loud and clear, Mr. Rex. What about this family minivan? The T-Rex bared his razor-sharp teeth. Can you really see me driving a minivan? A taxi cab? I'm not taking anyone for a ride. A sports utility vehicle? I don't like sports. Uncle Otto was starting to sweat. Help, he squeaked at Mickey and Ava. The children whispered back and forth, and finally they turned to the T-Rex. Follow us. We know the perfect car for you. A monster truck. The T-Rex loved the humongous wheels. He let out a roar of delight and hit the road. I'm changing the name of my business, Uncle Otto said. Dinosaurs are great customers. Maybe you should hire us to help out, Ava said. That won't be necessary. I'm a dinosaur expert. Otto's dino cars. That's when a really big customer stepped onto the lot. The end. What kind of car does a T-Rex drive?